What's up, tubers? T.O. here, Simplistic Fishing. That's right, it's Saturday and I'm in the garage. That's never good, but that's all right. It's only because the weather, nothing's wrong with Steve, at least nothing that I know of. Of course, you never know. It happens about every weekend something goes wrong with Steve, but I need some wood to knock on or something. Anyways, guys, I have been struggling with boat organization lately. I've got the Skeeter ZX250 of 2019, and it has the team deck, so I have tons and tons and tons of rod storage, but it limits me on where I can do all my bait storage. So I'll take you over, I'll kind of show you how the boat's organized today, and then we're going to basically walk you through some stuff that I just bought from Amped Marine, APMD, or... AMPD, sorry, AMPD uh, Marine. You can go out there, just Google it, find their site. They got some cool stuff. I want to show you some stuff that they did. One, let me walk you over here real quick and show you this. Any Skeeter owner, you don't even have to be a ZX250 owner, any Skeeter owner knows that the day boxes they put in those Skeeters are absolutely horrible. Look, this is my day box. That's a 2019, and that's how I had it basically put together. This thing cracked. I tried to fiberglass it. It was a hot mess. Duct tape kind of worked. Anyways, I'm throwing that out and I'm gonna get a replacement. I'm gonna show you guys what those replacements look like. I actually already have them in the boat and they are awesome. I think any Skeeter owner is gonna love those. And guys, I'm not being paid by this guy or anything like that. I just really loved the product and I just really wanted to share it with everybody else. So let's go ahead and jump into the boat real quick and I wanna show you how things are organized today. Let's go. So I'm out here in Steve now, and as you can tell, it's pretty windy, and it's really just kind of a hot mess. Let me show you some of this back here. This is going to be my, my storage box in the back. I've just got some, some live jackets and some other stuff, you know, binoculars, some first aid. Of course, there's my live wells. And then back over here, what I've had to do is I've had to put bait storage back in here as well. And you can tell this is just a heck of a mess back here. We've got the lids to the grass. And then if you dig really deep in here, I've actually got a bunch of these bait bags from Six Cents. And so we're going to try to address all this. That adds a ton of weight in the back of my boat. And those are a lot of baits that, you know, we only need every once in a while. So why not just grab them before we go instead of storing them in the boat? And then as we move up here, this is what I was talking about, my team deck. So the team deck, you can see here in the middle, I've got two compartments. If I raise up this compartment, you can see here, there's where all the rod storage is. They can store like 15, 20 rods in there. And then on this side, I've got more rods. So you can see, I don't have a lot of room for storage. Like right here, I've got plenty of room right here, you know, in the bottom for additional storage. Um, but it's really hard to get to. And so what I've had to do is I've had to go back over and put most of my storage in these side compartments. So here you can see I've got a lot of boxes in there. I've got a hot mess over here. Lots of storage. So we're going to clean that up. We're going to put rods over here, storage right here, other stuff here. And we're going to clean out those boxes in the back. Let's do it. All right, so we went through the compartments and now it's time to just start digging things out and getting everything organized. And then Landon's going to come out here in a minute and he's going to help me as well, which will be a huge help because this is going to take a while. So I'll try to go through a little time lapse here of us taking it out. When I come back, we're going to start installing the other piece, which is changing that middle, middle console from Amped Marine to an actual tackle saw. It's going to be cool. Stick around. All right, guys, got a little bit of it cleaned out, but now I got Landon out here helping me, and he's actually going to be in charge of getting rid of all of these boxes. Even though they're decent boxes, we want to go Plano Edge on everything if we can. So what I did was I went out to Academy, bought me some Plano Edge boxes. Hopefully I got the right ones. Open them up here. Let's see what we got. Oh crap, these are smaller. Damn it, I got the wrong ones. I'll have to take these back. So Land's gonna have a really easy day because he only has to do two of them. Do we need any more of these? Maybe. All right, well I'll just let you keep all of them. You can do what you want. 
Might be able to put something, something in there. Anyways, Landon's gonna work on that. I'm gonna continue to unload this thing and then I gotta clean it out. And then after that, we're gonna open up those boxes over here to my right, which you can't see from uh, Amp Marine. We're gonna start the installation. All right, so before we get started, I guess let's open up the box and see what we have, because I don't even know where to start. We got two boxes. We have a big old box here, and another box there. I know that I need the center compartment first, where the uh, where the compartments are. I talked to Tracy over at Aunt Marine through the support side. He looks like he's the owner. And he told me to put the middle in first, and then follow that up with the trays. I'm thinking this has got to be the trays. So this must be my middle insert for all of my boxes. So let's open this one up first. Get some scissors here. Let's see what we got. Nice. Gotta love the scissors. All right. Quality. Sweet. So this might be too close for you guys. This is our center divider. So this is gonna sit basically like this in that middle compartment. And you're gonna have six on each side to, uh, so basically 12 boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. 12 boxes, which is super nice. It's a little bit more than we have today, especially if we start adding in this side. I don't think we'll need it, but uh, we're gonna install this thing somehow. This is cool. I definitely didn't uh, didn't order this at all. Tracy must have thrown this in for me. I told him I was going to do a video on the organizing. These are little bait boxes that you can put, I believe, right on the uh, on the side inside of this little day day box, and you can just throw your extra baits and stuff in there, your extra soft plastics. Really good little organizer. So, gracias to you, sir. And then, last but not least, man, he hooked me up got me some Ant Marine stickers, so that's cool. He got me a uh, little line clipper, which is awesome. You guys can see that right there. So that's pretty cool, man. You guys definitely need to check out this company. Again, I am not sponsored by them in, for any means. I just happen to buy their product and really like it. I'm gonna hold this up to the screen real quick so you guys can see it. It doesn't have their, well, oh, it does have their website address. So I'll start with the website address. You can see it there. Then I'm going to turn it over and show you the front of the card as well. You guys, go check them out, www.ampdmarine.com. They got stuff for Skeeter, Nitro, Ranger. Looks like some cool stuff. Let's see if all it all works. We're going to put them to the test. Tracy, we're putting you to the test right now, buddy. We're going to see what we can uh, what we can do with these new toys that we have. Also got a nice little, uh, little neck band to hold my clips on. But it's pretty windy out here. All right, I'm gonna go take a break here. I'm gonna see if I can get this box in here and see how it fits. I don't even see any screws. This may be super, super easy. Let's go and check it out. All right, guys, so we've got everything pretty well cleaned out. I took some Clorox bleach uh, and some wipes down to the center console. So we got it pretty well cleaned out now. But before I move on to the center console, and we talk about redoing that and modifying it, I wanna talk to you guys about these day boxes because Look at my old day box. I showed you guys that in the intro. It's a hot mess. The dividers were breaking out. It's cracking on the inside really bad. And I'm a 2019, so we really shouldn't be doing that. So threw those away and we got these. Check these out. This is from Ant Marine as well. And you can see these things are sweet. You've got a little spot here where you can dangle your, your lures. You've also got one back here as well. You've got your spots here for your markers. So now you can keep your markers upright so the bottom of the barrel doesn't look like this, like my wacky tool does, where it's all highlighted because everything kept spilling. And then you've got, just got really good plastic. It's not gonna break. It's not nearly as flimsy as the other one. So really good upgrade, definitely something that you should look into. Let's switch over and let's uh, start modifying this middle section. All right, let's take a look at this center console real quick. I'm gonna pull you over here, and just show it to you real quick. But this is the center console now. I've got it all cleaned out. And basically, I'm going to take this box right here and put it in there. 
And again, I don't see any screws or anything like that. So this is going to be cool. This thing might just fit perfectly. If it does, that, that's some quality stuff. Let's give it a whirl. I'm going to put you up here so you can kind of watch me here as I mess around with this thing for the first time. No instructions, which I like. When I don't have instructions, that means it's usually pretty easy. I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it down here. And that's about as beautiful as it gets. It just fits perfect. If you guys can see that or not, let me pull this off here. Fits perfect right in there. No problems at all. And it even has those little rubber bumpers on it to keep it from sliding. So we'll be able to put some extra tackle there on the side of it too. Really like that. That's awesome. Super perfect fit. Now let's uh, let's switch over and let's get these trays out, kind of put it all together, and then we'll look at it as one piece. These things here that I was telling you about, these little boxes, I believe they just go right here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll pull you over here. They go right there on the side and they slide up and down. Super cool. Don't know what they're called, day trays maybe? I'm not sure, but uh, let's open up this other box. That was way easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to like, screw some holes and all that jazz. None of it. So this thing looks pretty cool. You guys can see this or not. Looks like we got lots of options on this one as far as how we want to organize our stuff. This is the uh, the bait clips that we have in those day boxes. So pretty cool. And then you can see all these different dividers. Take this out. This is the same thing we have, really similar to what we have in our day boxes as well. We've got these things that'll hold all of our scents and things. So we can have that. That's nice. Now we're gonna pull out the tray. first tray is looking pretty good pretty solid stuff it's not that it's not that cheap stuff that they were sending from the factory this is actually good quality stuff it's going to last a long time and what's cool is you can change these dividers out anywhere you want them so as we put the put our baits back in here we're going to decide where we want all these dividers i'm going to take out this next one same kind of thing guys i don't see any screws not putting any holes in my boat or anything like that and doing some cool upgrades here look at all the trays for soft plastics that's awesome all right put this box up now what we're going to do is we're going to put the trays in kind of put it all together and see what it looks like and then hopefully we can get landon's approval guys so i have everything in here except for i'm missing the other little day tray but you can see here i've got everything in here it looks pretty cool i don't know if i have it installed right so i'm going to jump on his website real quick and just see and make sure that i'm not supposed to have those boxes hanging instead of down there low we'll go check it out and i'll be right back all right guys so i did do it right it's all in there let me show it to you one more time super cool stuff lots of storage in my middle console now all kinds of stuff for all my tackle my bait storage oh, here's these little day boxes that they gave us all kinds of cool stuff in here ready to get it loaded up landon's over here still just packing away tackle for me i don't know they're not secured in there i think i'm gonna leave them unsecured for right now go back talking to you i think i'm gonna leave them unsecured for right now i don't see anything that says i need to secure them i'm gonna look more in this package but i may just leave them there because i think once we got all the base in there and everything it's going to be pretty secure but if I have to, I'll come back and just put some silicone on the bottom of them just to keep them in there. I don't want to do any screwing or anything like that. So anyways, guys, super impressed. Stick around. We're going to put all this together and I'll show you the final product. A little bit of a correction. There are some adhesive little stickers to keep these things in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two on each side and that should, uh, that should keep everything secure. So go ahead and do that now. good now I'm just ready to uh, put everything in there 
Well guys, we are finally at the moment, the moment of truth. When we open it up and show you guys what we did, let's go ahead and start in the back and then we'll go back to the back first and then we'll come up to the front and show you the good stuff. So here we are, we're going to the back. There's really nothing different going on back here. I've got the same stuff, just a little bit cleaner, a little more organized. Nothing special about that one. Not a lot of change to that compartment. Now this is the compartment that I had all those soft plastics in. Remember this thing was crushed full. Now look at it. Nice, beautiful, lightweight stuff back here. All I've got is my replacement props, stuff like that, and a couple life jackets. That thing is clean as a whistle. All right. Oops, flipped you back over too soon. Now let's go over here to the front. Let's take a look at it first. Let's look at these day boxes. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Man, check that out. You got the stuff there for your markers and everything. You can hang your baits right here like I talked about earlier. Really cool. Over here, it's the other day box. Super cool, not a lot of change. Now we did do some modifications in here, in this little compartment. We took out a couple of the extra spots so we could put our spinner bait box there. And then you can see here, we have all of our other boxes in there. So very, very clean and organized. Now let's move up here to this compartment. You can see here, that one's very well These are our crankbaits. You can see here, we've got some smaller boxes and some light weight boxes for the terminal stuff. And then finally, over here, our last compartment, this is gonna be our rod storage. So we took out the compartment that was down here. You can kind of see the remnants of it. Took it out and that's where we're gonna do our rod storage. So that leaves the question being, where are we gonna do our rod storage now? Or where was it before? Sorry, I totally screwed that up. Let's open up this middle compartment. I want to show you guys this. I love this thing. This is awesome. Check this out. Check that out, guys. That is freaking awesome. Got all my stuff here. All my terminal tackle stuff. Uh, not just terminal tackle, but just other kinds of baits. Tons of different soft plastics, all organized. All my swim baits, all my beaver baits, my shaky heads, my Z-Man stuff. I got the bigger worms I use in these little day boxes because they wouldn't fit in the normal sides and we didn't want to change the compartment size. So we put the bigger worms up here. I mean, this stuff is awesome. And then we put that little deal right here that he gave us to cut our line with. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was looking at from an organization standpoint. Guys, if you want to check them out, definitely do. Again, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but this stuff is awesome. It's Amped Marine, A-M-P-D-Marine.com. Check them out. I love this stuff, and I will be back soon to talk to you guys about that mess in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ton of crap in there, tons of extra baits, bait packages, lures, all that stuff. My next mission is to make a wall in the garage that I can hang all that stuff up and have it readily available to us. So that is going to be our next video whenever it comes out and those things get here. Hey guys, until next time, hope you catch your PB. Hope you enjoy this video. If you're a Skeeter owner, check them out. Man, I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. Take it easy.